Hey, welcome back everybody to the podcast, or not welcome back if this is your first time, because it seems like... Uh, have you noticed that we've actually blown up like a little bit? Like I say blown up, like we haven't hit our 10 mil yet. I'm still waiting on the play button in the mail, but like we went from 10 to 18 in a week. So like that's an 80% increase. It's not bad. Not bad. All you new fucking idiots out there, <laughs> go back. <laughs> no cutting, okay? You start from the beginning like everybody else. And then you come to this episode. No cutting in line. No cutting you don't in get line. To- you don't get to see me with a ring light until you've seen me with the fucking the standard mic that comes with my laptop and total darkness and a blue <laughs> wall in the back, okay? I'm going to make a playlist of all of our videos, and I'm just going to... That's where we're going to direct people. You just have to start at the beginning and let them play through all the way. Yeah. There's no cutting ahead. You have to see and hear all the jokes. If you miss it... Oh, well. That might suck for you. This is a good thing for you. <laughs> this is, um, I suppose I should probably tell them the, the title and the, the whole gimmick uh, if we want to get into that. Just kind of unnecessary information. Just in case but. they haven't, for whatever reason, seen the other episodes. This is On Thin Ice, the podcast where Jacob and I, every week, get together on Mondays, at least this one episode's release, and we talk about icebreaker questions and other kinds of nonsense. We pretty much pose a question to each other, answer it, and kind of just take off and just see where it lands. We just shoot for the stars. We, yep. we, we ball. Just like <clears throat> planes at an airport, you know? They don't actually know where they're going. They just sort of get told, hop on. G- GH, that's where you're at. And you got to say, where's that at? And then the attendants at the airport go, <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> this, they say, I don't know. This is LAX. F- follow everybody else. LAX. Oh, man. I hardly know her. <laughs> Lay with my ex. <laughs> Premarital <laughs> handshaking. Ew. Uh, more content and hilarious bits like this. A broken, you clock, find... broken clock is still right two times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Oopaville's been doing that shit. He's been saying that in every one of his videos out of context. Has nothing to do with what he's talking about. And I love That's a it. really good point. I love it, dude. Oh, Jesus, man. All right. Um, we usually do updates here. Uh, I hear you've been getting into a lot of stuff since the last time we talked. Yep, tons. Yeah. Tons, tons, tons. Like, since we spoke, I have paced around the kitchen and searched for food, only to remember <laughs> that I'm waiting for my food to be delivered because I already ordered some. And then it was delivered, and then I ate it. Well, you got to get a snack to wait for your food with, you know. I, I thought about it. I actually recently discovered this Asian market <clears throat> down the road from our house. Well, I didn't discover it. I was tipped off. I was told about it. And when they said it was an Asian market, I'm thinking a little hole in the wall, mom and pop shop. You know what I'm saying? No, this is yeah. a whole fucking grocery store. Like a whole grocery store. <laughs> like high V size for you Midwesterners out there. Like big. And I'm talking like on the bigger end of high V, not not the smaller ones. Yeah. And when I tell you that they've got a whole like two aisles of ramen. Like stovetop ramen and cup of noodles and bowls and stuff. Like two My curry? <laughs> aisles. Curry everything. I'm serious, dude. I was just in heaven. I have tried so many different types of new ramen this past, like, week. It's insane. Some of them, actually, I I don't know if you can tell, but, like, the very bottom part of my lip is still a little bit swollen from how spicy one of them was the other day. This man. I didn't I didn't realize how spicy it was, and it was so good, I didn't care. I continued to eat it. But, like, a couple days ago, my fucking, this ring around my lip right here was, like, red and swollen, and, like, my face is on fire. (laughs) It was was tough. But it was so fucking good, dude. But anyway, the Asian market also has a lot of, like, I have some here I was eating a little earlier. Like, different. Are those fucking ramen lays? No, this is, uh... Oh. Well, they're lays. This is... Crispy grilled fish flavor, even though it doesn't really taste like fish at all. It's just whatever this 
tomato sauce looking stuff is. They're actually really good. But there's like a bunch of different flavors of these that we don't obviously have at your fucking Walmarts and shit. Because as you can probably tell, it's... It's all in a completely different language, even the nutrition facts. The only way I could figure out what the flavor was is this tiny little text right here says the flavor. This tiny little microscopic text. <laughs> Mm. But, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of different ones, and I tried a bunch of those. I was going to have another bag of those, a different flavor that I haven't tried yet that I got the other day while I was waiting for my Jersey Mike's. It but, just says um, cancer, not fit for human consumption. Yeah. Pretty oh, there's stuff on it you can't read. That's what chips are anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. But they're they're delicious, and I love them anyway. Not me, bro. I eat baked Lay's because I'm better than everybody else. Dude, I'll eat chips no matter what just give me chips man I'm, I'm a happy camper yeah but uh yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing eating got that uh italian that cold italian from jersey mike's if anybody's familiar with jersey mike's you already know what time it is oh my god dude that shit's good <laughs> i don't know if it's like a big thing but we don't have them in iowa so when I moved here, I've been trying a bunch of new places and stuff, and I don't think we had one in Virginia when I lived there either, but I could be wrong. It was a big, like, Firehouse Subs was the big one, but, mm. um, yeah, uh, I, I tried it, like, a couple months ago, and I was like, oh my god. I so think there's some it. up around Chicago, <clears throat> the other might be the Illinois world for me. Yeah, but, but even then... I'm not a big sub person. I don't normally go out of my way for subs, but yeah. uh, I was just in a sub mood for some reason, and my usual go-to when I was in Iowa was Sub Arena in Fort Madison, which is a family-owned thing. It's not a chain or anything, and uh, there's nothing like that here that I've discovered yet, which I'm sure there probably is, but I seen Jersey Mike's pop up. It was like the first one in my search for subs, and I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. Oh my god, dude. So good. Oh my god, man. Oh my god. We're talking. Bussin' bussin'. Alright. I have something very interesting that came up in the 30 minutes that we were away from each other. What's up? The mail The mail came. Oh yeah? I see that you have in, a package in my on ass. your desk. <laughs> yeah, oh. I've <laughs> left it. <laughs> I mean, the post arrived at my house. But... Yeah, I uh, I knew exactly what this was, so I left it here uh, sealed up so we could do a little uh, live reaction unboxing, and I made sure to rip off the shit, so good luck doxing me, you fucking idiots. But, I've been waiting for months, months for this shit to come out. This is new, this is new dildos. Yeah. Actually, if it was, <laughs> oh, can't show that on camera. I was you just open it up and it, you forgot to read the label and see what it was from, and it's actually from me. And I sent you like a bunch of sex toys. <laughs> it's actually just anthrax. Whole box opens up with powder and smoke in my face. Oh yeah, baby, that's fucking hot. See that right there? No. You know what that is? It's what's inside the bubble wrap that counts. This is the most expensive movie I've ever bought. And holy shit. That was fucking worth it, baby. That's Godzilla Minus One Special Edition 4K right there. Godzilla. Gojira right there in the flesh or whatever the hell he's made of. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I don't think I'm ever going to open this. Take it out. No, I'm Rip not the plastic. Doing that. I'm leaving that sealed. I will not. It's not like a TV where it's satisfying to peel the fuck plastic off. Or it foam. looks like there's something really shiny on there though, in the inside. The yeah, side. there is. There's a whole. There's like, like that four side, different. Yeah, it looks extremely yeah, there's, satisfying. There's supposed to be like four discs in there and a little booklet that I can see with little pages that you'll never touch because you're not going to open it like a bitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, one of the best movies ever made right here. You'll and, just have uh, to get another one so you can open yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll order another one of these. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say about it? I'm waiting to see if it comes out in the United States. Uh, if it's dubbed, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, sub would be perfect for it. And get this box out of the way. I don't need this shit anymore. 
But if we get one in the United States, and hopefully we get a steel book, then I will I will open that and I will watch it. But this one might be sealed as a collectible item. Crazy. It's craziness. Crazy. I thought I had something else to talk about, but I don't I don't know if I did. Who knows if it matters? Oh yeah, actually. Uh, I got my short story published and I told I talked about this a couple weeks ago. That's the uh, that's the book that it's in. Nice. Holdings. You just have that one copy? Yeah. I yeah, I only have the one. If you went to the launch party then you could get uh you got a free copy of it. I don't know how much I don't know if you I mean I'm sure you can buy these or order them from whatever the fuck. I just don't know how much they are. There's no price on it or anything. Well, if you figure that out, send me a link or something. I'll get one. Yeah, I I should have grabbed more. The short story that I wrote is called Last Day, and I, I was trying to ex- uh, I had to explain it to my grandma, even though she's I don't know I don't want to tell people that it that it's an extremely sad story or what it's about because I have a, like a really conservative family who's like extremely religious as well. Oh yikes! Yeah. Yeah, and it's about a dude who's dying who looks at the world in a very. Um, nihilistic way and he's reflecting on everything and you get to see the choices that a person makes when they're faced with their last few days and they're slowly dying and hurting yeah well i'm intrigued i'm into sad shit and death i love sad stuff as we could tell from the episode on death that we did yeah (laughs) go watch that by the way what do you mean that was uplifting that was fun (laughs) it was it was pretty fun i thought it was pretty fun yeah but that is not today's topic, and we didn't even talk about it beforehand. You ready? I'm ready. I have no Recent, idea what it's going to be. Recently, I should probably open up my phone for this. With, oh, shit. Oh, never mind. That's nothing. I had an email. Thought it was important. It's not. Getting sidetracked. Uh, with school being out, my tattoo artists, they, their um, tattoo parlor, whatever you want to call it, they do walk-in, uh, yeah, walk-ins on Saturdays. So I have gone a couple Saturdays. My tattoo artist told me if I wanted a place, uh, he doesn't get there until like nine normally. And you can't be there later than seven if you want a spot. So I got there at six the first time and waited for three hours. And I was the fifth freaking car there. But I got my courage tattoo. Jonathan, Holy. Derek, they were all there. <laughs> they weren't, surprisingly. Really? Uh, a couple others from work were. I was going to say, I know Derek just recently got some tattoos, I think. And I know yeah. Jonathan's there all the time, too. But also, May the 4th Be With You was recent in terms of our timeline. And it was on a Saturday, a walk-in day. So me and my buddy JT, we went and we got Star Wars tattoos. So I got this now, my first... Tattoo that actually peeks out of my shirt. I got nice. Captain Rex skull and crossbones style with his two pistols added to my sleeve. I Hell have yeah. a quarter sleeve. There's that courage I haven't shown yet. Look at that. Hell yeah! I haven't seen <laughs> it. I haven't seen it without the uh, wrap the bandage. On. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking dope. Yeah, I ha- I have Both like a quarter courage. sleeve and and none of my tattoos show. Twinsies. Mm. Lame. Not I love it. that. I still love yours. It's so cute. What the fucking, little bell? You know I got. You know I keep that dog on me. Right. Well, now that I have all this time, and I've even actually I got a tattoo on the on my calf too. We can talk about how fucking painful that was in a minute. Yeah, but I was gonna say. So do I. Today I want to know what are some good tattoo ideas? A giant I've dick been... on your forehead. Perfect. Episode over. Done. Cancelled. <laughs> Seriously, stop recording. No, I'm kidding. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, now that I'm I'm getting a lot more tattoos since I have time, I'm trying to finish my sleeve of uh, cartoon characters or symbols of cartoon characters from cartoons I love the most. Uh, I just want to talk about what are some good tattoo ideas. Because there are some that, like, Adventure Time, I've got an idea, but I can't decide. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I have no fucking clue what I want. Hey man, we gonna, you're gonna get this band on here. I won't. I won't go down to the nip. I won't go down to the nip, even though there's nothing on my nip. Jake's legs kind of go close, but not what if close I just enough. What if I just stood up and I start taking my pants off and I showed my <laughs> thigh tattoo? <too? laughs> I could probably do that, but I don't need to take my pants off for it. It's on. 
I could just lift my pants, my pant leg up. I would have to, but talking with you, now I have this massive raging boner underneath my desk, so I can't really take my pants off and, <laughs> you know, unsheath that. You could. Unholster that. This isn't live, so it would just go into my personal collection. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let's let's spitball some ideas for tattoos. What do you? Uh, this doesn't have to be like just for me or for you, but like, are there? It, it could just be anything that you're also wanting done, since well, we're both tattoo consumers now. Well, when um, when you mentioned May the Fourth, I was I was gonna see if the guy that did my Greg tattoo was gonna have any free spots for a walk in. But then I was like thinking about it more and more, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah. Not with You're him sit just there yet. For Thirty hours. Yeah, and and again, he did great. He did a good job. Like, but fuck me, dude. The one that I wanted for May the Fourth would have probably been the uh, battle droid, and just Roger Roger underneath it because I've always wanted a battle droid with Roger Roger tattoo somewhere. Um, yeah. I'll I'll get that eventually, no doubt. Like easy. Um. But. That's one for sure that I want to get. Um, let's see. There's one that I also have been planning for a while that Deanna actually drew up for me for the Horned King from the Black Cauldron, the, the Disney version of the Black Cauldron, where he's got the cauldron in front of him and he's like holding up his hands and doing some like magic shit or whatever, like this green smoke coming around him and shit, and it says cauldron born over it. Ooh. I want to get that shit so goddamn bad, dude. Oh my god, it's gonna be so <laughs> sick. Um, yeah, that's been a that dude. That's been on the back burner for a minute. But I want I want that one to be super detailed though. Like, I want it to be like just as detailed as her drawing of it is. Okay. Which it, which isn't super. I mean, it's not super super detailed. It is stylized, but um, it's not like hyper realistic or anything. But that I mean that would be sick too. Um, honestly. You you would also have to get it bigger if you're wanting more details. I'm sure you know that, but like oh, if yeah. anyone else out there is like I'm considering getting a tattoo, know that the more detail you want in it, like no matter what, you'll your tattoo artist will probably say, Yeah, we need to go big with that. Mine I have really I have a small body and small arms. Same. So like my my candy wife here this originally had legs and everything and it was when he drew it up it was gonna cover like my whole fucking arm and i'm like dude i'm trying to get a sleeve okay not just like one or two things nice. but even even that like with the eyes there's spirals in the peppermints so yeah. having to scale that down you'll lose a lot of detail and over time the stuff fades out so i've only got like four things on my arm for now but they still take up quite a bit of space yeah i uh even my bigger pieces that I've gotten, uh, well, I guess the only like really really big ones I have is my back and my arm, my forearm right here, my my tree and skull and everything. That one has fair uh, like a fair amount of detail in it, but this one here, my Grim Reaper, which is my own original drawing, just in a tattoo form basically, uh, was originally yeah. going to be paired with my grandpa's names. They were going to be side by side together on one tattoo and the tattoo artist was like there's no way you're fitting that all on your arm <laughs> and, I, and i'm like fuck because i i knew that was what he was going to say but it was my this was my very first tattoo so at the time i was like okay grim reaper my grandpa's names eh, i guess i'll just do my grandpa's names first and then i'll move on to the grim reaper on a different spot and I was going to just get it opposite on this part of my arm instead, so they were still close together. But I was like, no, I'm just going to do away with that idea entirely. Yeah. But he said that the words would have been, like, either this big. Like, both of their names would have been squished in to this big. Or it would have, their names would have wrapped around my arm all the way on both sides. And I was Ooh. like, no, I don't want to do all that. And that was before I had the idea for the tree here. The tree here is actually... Um, fairly like it was a fairly new decision when I got it done originally uh, I was just kind of spitballing some ideas and then I was like oh shit actually that'd be that'd be kind of cool and I was wanting some more hand oh, tattoos and whatnot yeah I fuck with trees dude and then my back I got two more big ass willow more trees, trees with willow did you in the get middle those, did you get those 
like finished your back is done no still still not done i didn't i ended up not having the time to do it before i moved i was so busy like packing and shit that i wasn't able to schedule another appointment so next time i go to iowa or whatever and i have some time to just blow and go hang out with cody (laughs) hopefully he'll he'll have some time for me that i can schedule that right but that would be sick i would like to get it done though but i'm not gonna let anybody else touch it so yeah i have not had a tattoo in in more than one session but uh if i can ever tolerate getting my entire right thigh done with what i want done which is the um the burrow which is the weasley household from harry potter but i want it like on fire nice uh, I, that'll probably take more than one session because that's a whole building that needs detailed um oh, man you- thighs fucking hurt I have I have tiny ones, little tiny things on my thigh, just a couple symbols on my left thigh. This <laughs> is excruciating. Yeah, uh, the only ones that I have on my, well, technically I only have one on my thigh. It's like right on the top of my right thigh. I have Dan Fortescue's skull. And I did that one myself. And let me tell you, <laughs> it hurts way more when you do it by yourself. <laughs> So it actually hurt, like, decent enough for me to not go in far enough, and I had to have my cousin Wiley help me out and, like, go back over and darken the lines a little bit. Um, It looks rough as shit, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you can tell it's Dan's skull. It's not, like, completely... It's not a complete abomination, but it's definitely, you can tell I did it, you know. But, um, yeah, it did not feel good, and that's because, like, in your mind, you can tell yourself to, oh, no, don't go that hard. it'll, It'll be fine. Don't go that hard, and then... Yeah, no, you have to go a little bit. You have to go a little bit. And then the other one, not technically on my thigh, it's like right above my knee, but on the top part of my knee, so closer to my thigh than my shin. Um, I've got the Deathly Hollows, because that was another easy one that I figured I could do by myself, and um, that one turned yeah. out pretty good. But it's pretty straight, pretty solid lines. Everything's still there. It's not all faded or anything, so that's cool. I actually have... Uh, on my phone, I have an album of uh, tattoo ideas in my photos. Do you keep something like that, or do you just kind of like? I, I don't draw my own. I'll usually Photoshop something up, and then I'll ask my tattoo artist, either of them, either Kayla or Chris, to to draw me up something. Um, I have. It, it depends on what it is, because I know like my my skull with the ram horns and the Celtic knot right here was also my original drawing. That's why it looks very stylized, because that's my own drawing. And uh, But that was hand-drawn. Like, I drew it myself, and I said, hey, can you put this on my body? And she was like, yeah, I can do that. Um, and then, of course, my Grim Reaper again. It's my own hand-drawing and so forth. But uh, that's a whole different story. Um, but there are some designs, like my Trivium tattoo that I have planned, that I did Photoshop something together and it's sitting in a file somewhere on my my old computer over here that I make my music on. And I've got a couple that are just they're they're t- the ideas themselves are too crisp of an idea f- like that I, I I just want as symmetrical as possible. So if I can give the artist like my exact like this is exactly what I want, then generally speaking I'm a little bit more comfortable with it. Not that I have had any issue with artists not doing good jobs, you know, like um Cody, for example, the guy that's been doing my, that did my tree and the ones on my back and stuff, um, I gave him a sketch, a, a literal pencil sketch of what I wanted him to do for this, and he threw it up on Photoshop just as a side-by-side comparison and just whipped something together with shit he found on the internet just to, like, yeah. compile the, like, the structure of what it's going to be based on where it was going on my arm, which is obviously a very awkward, like, turn right here. Like, it's a very weird spot. And yeah. he was like, hey, w- what about this? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it looks a little weird, but okay. Keep in mind, this is the first, like, big piece that I've gotten, and it's only the second tattoo that he did for me, first being my little wizard skull and cross staffs or whatever. Yeah. And uh, it turned out great. He was literally just using the really rough Photoshop thing for a uh, reference more than anything. Um, but yeah, he did he did good. But I, I don't really have like a, a set folder or anything that I 
I could think of, other than a couple of the Photoshop idea, ideas that I've put together. Yeah, I've got my whole album of just uh, reference stuff, and I'll probably show off some of those as time goes. But I, I'm finally like I was at a at a at an impasse where I couldn't figure out what I wanted to keep adding to my cartoon character sleeve, but. I do have, so I think the next time I'm gonna go, cause I'm kind of holding back now, is when I have an appointment, an actual appointment in July. I wanted, my courage was supposed to originally go right here, just below Bubby's tail, and across from Candy Wipe's head, but I ended up having fucking ringworm. I didn't know what it was. And he's like, yeah man, I can't tattoo over that. Did you get bit? And then of course he flicked it without having gloves on. I was like, you, <laughs> all right, whatever, man. But uh, I still right, gotta whatever, figure man. out something. I gotta figure out something that's gonna occupy that gap, but right here on the back, I'm wanting to get this, uh, sort of like this gumball machine, but without the the space effects and the planet gumballs, this is gonna be my Benson tattoo for regular show. But there's an episode where uh, he's getting told he can't yell at Mordecai and Rigby anymore, and he's holding back his anger until his gumballs catch fire and he starts fucking screaming at them. And I think for someone with like me with anger issues, I'd like to just get that with the gumballs on fire. And then um, my other one, now that I'm like absolutely in love with Has Been Hotel, I want to get uh, Vaggie's angel helmet. Because all the angels come down from heaven to do like a culling of all the uh, sinners like once a year or some shit like that. That'll probably go under Candy Wife right next to Captain Rex. Hell yeah. That's what I got plans for. I had uh, I had an idea for this big open area right here on my arm. And I say big relatively because obviously my arms are fucking tiny. But this big open spot right here, I was going to do yet another tree. But... <laughs> yet another tree. But I was going to do the treehouse from Adventure Time. Ooh. It's gonna do the treehouse, which is like very vibrant and full of life and color and shit, which would starkly contrast this side. And um, I thought that would be pretty sick, but I don't know if I'm still gonna do that or not. I thought about it, but I also have very odd sections of space on this side, so I don't know. It just depends on, on a lot of stuff, I guess. But that was definitely something I had considered for a little bit. For my Adventure Time tattoo, I keep coming back to uh, the Fight King all the time. I don't know why. I just love this dude. Yeah, he's fucking sick, dude. With his little arm, his tiny crown, he sits on this massive throne. But I saw someone did a fan art of this, oh, that's where he's dope. sitting on his sitting on his throne with a side profile, and I'm thinking of something like that along either the back of my arm, where you've got like your tree going on the other side. Or unfortunately, maybe on my forearm. I don't want it there because that shit hurts. But it's I want to have that. that maybe, maybe his head back with the the green flames coming out of him when he gets all pissy. There's too much in Adventure Time for me to yeah. actually get something really. Because that's just what I keep coming back to is that in the uh, uh, City of Thieves episode. I have a ton of Adventure Time ideas like i said i was gonna i i really wanted to do the treehouse but i don't i'm not sure on that one just yet that's like nothing solidified there but it would be cool however my for anybody that doesn't know my adventure time piece here is a world of warcraft crossover i've got finn holding the ashbringer and jake is holding the doom hammer i know it's, my video quality is kind of shit but and then bemo is just chilling there on the back but Anyway, I was going to get. Oh, the, I didn't even see the bemo. Yeah, he's he's on there. But uh, I was going to get the lich on the other side of my chest, holding Frostmourne, the Lich King's weapon from World of Warcraft. Ooh. And I thought that'd be pretty sick. And then in the middle, going up my chest all the way up to my neck, I was gonna have the Soul Well from Adventure Time with all the fucking yeah. with the mushroom cloud of souls coming out. I was gonna have all of the souls just like a, accumulate on my neck. I thought that'd be pretty sick. I, I have to start uh, braiding my beard so people can see it. I keep seeing people, maybe I don't keep seeing, but the art that keeps coming up whenever I search up, like, BMO stuff is BMO, but half of him is, is cut off, and it's, like, 
skeleton and muscle and oh, shit yeah. on the inside of him. I've seen those. And yeah. I love that, but it's it just feels too common for me to get something like that. Yeah, I have seen a lot of people do that. They're cool though. They're like really sick ideas. Yeah. I, I love that. Um, can get all the sword. You should get everything that Chuzgu's has to offer at his stand. Get that all tattooed on you. <laughs> just get, get a, the get a face tattoo of Chuzgu's. That'd be good. <laughs> That's a power move right there. <laughs> Fucking choose goose on your face. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I will not get any face tattoos. I, I'll i get neck. I'm going to get my... I, my neck is going to be covered. Like, I will have stuff everywhere on my neck, but I'm not getting any face tattoos. I just... I uh, want... I wanted to get my neck done because I was going to have two ravens for Odin, but the wings would be going up up my neck to my ear but man as soon as i got that courage tattooed like on here i there's no way it's gonna be able to touch my neck that's gonna hurt way too fucking bad doesn't matter so pain, is, pain is temporary swag is forever i know i try to tell myself that but man the pain really hurts in the moment nope you just gotta push through that shit that's what i tell myself every time i get a tattoo i'm like nope doesn't matter i'm crying like a bitch right now but i'm gonna look sick as fuck i don't care <laughs> but instead i did find maybe it's better if i tilt it uh i found these um these ink ravens oh yeah i guess it's just the one I but i do that. want i wanted something that was a raven that's like ink and bone maybe the head needs more detail but i was gonna have those just mirrored across my my chest but i'm also worried about how bad this chest part's gonna hurt just it right underneath my clavicle it, or whatever you call that it doesn't feel good yeah. That's However, what they make numbing cream for baby. I will say that until until it got to this part right here, like right here where the tip of Doomhammer was, which is like yeah. dead. I know you can't really see the angle, but like dead center of my chest, that was the worst part. Like the rest, the rest of this was not fun. No, but I can handle it. Right in the center right here, though? Oh, my God, guy. When when you start lactating, it's a problem. Yeah. When you start lactating from nipples you didn't know you had, that's when it becomes a problem. I know you already saw it, but I think my calf has been one of the most painful things. But that's because I got, I got a lot of black ink done on my calf. And this is a panel from Watchmen, for anyone that can see that. It's when... Uh, Dr. John Osterman's getting ripped apart and turned into uh, Dr. Manhattan. And there's a panel on there that just, or there's a, a text box on there where he's talking. He just says, the light is taking me to pieces. Hmm. I went in there thinking, I'm going to score two tattoos today <laughs> on this walk-in. Hell yeah. Didn't have time for it, unfortunately. But I went to Kayla to get the idea for it. I was like, I don't really know what I want to do with the text. Obviously, you can't sit in that little box. You can't read it. And she's like, oh, we, the first thing she said is, oh, we can probably incorporate it into the splatter or something. I was like, holy fuck. Yes. you. <laughs> this is why I go to you. You haven't oh, figured word. out. <laughs> hell yeah. No, it looks sick as hell. What, that a, was a, rough what a fucking panel, too, to pick. That's awesome. Yeah. I was juiced up. Actually, let me... So that's... For anyone, that's the original uh, drawing she did, which was also taking from the art. But I was, I was really juiced up on some numbing cream, and it lasted a whole thirty minutes. This is a two-hour tattoo. I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, Cody uses Bactine from time to time. Like he'll spray mm. a little bit of Bactine as he's going and whatnot, and he did that a lot for me on my back because he's a good guy but i'm gonna tell you right now doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter it helps for all of about five minutes in certain spots like on your specifically on your back in certain spots five minutes you have some closure for a little bit and then it just it doesn't even matter <laughs> it all yep. comes crashing back down and it hurts so bad no matter what but I don't think any amount of numbing cream could have prepared me for my Greg down by my <laughs> ankle. 
This is like, this is down on my Achilles tendon. I mean, this shit. And he was going forever. And like, I, like I've like i mentioned, this was like, it's only lines. It's just black and white lines. There's no shading, no color, nothing. And it took forever. Like, for the first little bit, I was like, oh, actually, this is not terrible. Like, it doesn't feel great, but it definitely is not as bad as my Horde tattoo, which is on my opposite leg from this, but it's, like, it's, like, further up. It's, like, up here on, like, the dead middle of my calf. That mm. shit fucking hurt immediately the whole time. That was hurting like hell. This one was not bad until he continued to go and go and go and go and go and go, and I'm like... Please end me. End my suffering. <laughs> I cannot take this anymore. Yeah, this uh this Watchman calf tattoo was a bitch and a half, not just because of the, the, the time and the pain, but also the uh the wait time, because Kayla felt bad that she was running behind and couldn't get me in on the walk in. So she scheduled me for the same Friday of that week, which I already told her, I was like, you don't have to do that. I'm really just trying to score an extra tattoo while I'm here. She's like, no, 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 it's fine. I want to tattoo you. And so I I come in to my appointment. I'm supposed to be there at 5. I I get told that she's, like, way behind. And I'm like, no, 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 it's fine. I don't have to be anywhere until 5 p.m. the next day. I'm good to sit here as long as it takes. And there's a person in front of me still. Uh, Gets in there. And this woman has no idea what she wants, like, done with her tattoo. Which is a, a huge fucking problem. Yeah, what but the she's hell? getting, she's getting a cover up or like a rework done, and Kayla's asking her, well, "What do you, um, you know, how does this look, or what do you want changed about it?" And she's like, "I kind of don't like the whole thing. Like, there's, a, it, it kind of just sucks." And I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm gonna be here forever. She's gonna redo the whole drawing too." It back of the line. I, I think she was back of the line. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Put me in, coach. I know exactly what I want. Tap me in. Tap me but, in. Tap me in. But yeah, I'm supposed to be there at 5. She tells me, uh, you know, can you, like, come back at 6.30 or so? And I didn't see the message, so I was just sitting there reading until 6.30. And then she comes back, and she's like, hey, it might be closer to, like, 7. You don't have anything going on to you. I'm like, no, 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 no. You are totally fine. I'll wait here. It's all good. Don't, don't like, rush. Make sure because she hadn't, like, she hadn't even eaten or had anything to drink or gone to the bathroom in like 10 hours. I was like, you you do you, girl. I know like yeah. I can expect great things. It's totally fine. No shit. And then 8.30 rolls, rolls around for my yeah. tattoo appointment at 5 p.m. I'm like, oh, fuck. What's happening? And this woman back there who's getting tattooed who was unsure at first, she was like, can you do a background for this, uh, this pinup? And Kayla's like, yeah, what, uh, what do you want done? And she's like, oh, I, I don't know. Get her out of here! You know, you fucking come back when you got it figured out. No shit, Let me tell get you. that shit figured out ahead of time. What are you doing? <clears throat> See, uh, or at yeah, least be more flexible, because, like, I've definitely had tattoos where I was like, I don't know, just do something with it. And they're like, all right, cool, they do it. And I'm like, yeah, looks cool, whatever, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, Kayla did not start uh, ripping apart my leg until 9 p.m. No. But she was, like, way too sweet with it afterwards. She's like, I'll charge you, like, the... I'm sorry I made you wait. I'll charge you, like, the um, the store standard of, like, 60 bucks. I was like... I told her, no. There's no way, because this is, like... You've outdone yourself with it. It's one of my favorite tattoos, easily. And I, You should, you should bring enough money. Like, don't... It, it, there's a weird courtesy thing where you don't um, ask your tattoo artist, like, how much is this going to be, even though you kind of need to know. But you should definitely, if your tattoo artist is really good and you're a regular, generously tip them, I think. Yeah. I don't tip, but I do tip my tattoo artist quite a bit because they do a lot of phenomenal work. I tip everywhere except for fast food places that <laughs> you get piece paid of shit. hourly. No. Yeah, but but they're providing you a service, man. No. <laughs> if I'm going out to eat, sure, but like if I'm going to McDonald's or some shit and they flip the screen around expecting me to hit the tip button or some shit, get that shit out of my face, dude. You turn it back around and you tell them, no, I want you to see this, and you hit no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
that's a whole different episode. Um, that but, is, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I've got a lot of tattoo ideas that I, I really would like to get done. It's It's been mainly an adjustment living here because tattoos here are significantly more expensive than they are in Iowa because, one, Cody always undersells himself. I always pay him, like, what I can anyway. But uh, I think that he could probably get away with charging more, to be honest with you. But um, tattoo artists out here, don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> There's so much competition that, like, they can get a- they can get away with charging a lot. And some... Damn, sorry, I got the hiccups. Some of them do charge quite a bit. Like, quite a bit more than I, I personally think should be but i guess you can't really put a price on art whatever you want to do but there's also a lot of shops yeah. that will collect money from them so if you're a part of a shop they probably take a percentage of it and so forth so i understand that as well and cody's independent he's got his own shop he is his own artist and so forth he's his own boss um so maybe that's why but uh but yeah that's really been the biggest barrier is money Otherwise, I'd be co- dude. I'd be covered, dude. I've also been told that um, like bigger cities, there's a, a different rate that they will charge you versus like smaller shops in a, in a smaller area. Yeah, it's because like, it's because all the competition. There's just, yeah, that's there's what my so artists say. Like they'll they'll go to conventions even and set up booths where you can get your card out, they get your name out there to people, and my. The tattoo artists I go to, which Deanna has also gone to, I don't know if you have before, but they are, like, local celebrities. Yeah, yeah. Really. Oh, trust me, but I know. <laughs> yeah. I've never gotten but, any from them, but I, trust me, everybody that I know, you, Derek, uh, Jonathan, Deanna, everybody I know that's gotten tattoos from them has nothing but good things to say. Yeah, they're good people and, and very good artists. I have not gone to Toby yet, but... I would like to get something from them at some point just because of the culture surrounding their shop, honestly, and the amount of people that I've I've just known that have gotten amazing tattoos from them, but I just never got around to it. Mainly because I was always getting my stuff from Cody, but um, Montrose is significantly shorter distance from where I lived than Centerville. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Centerville is an hour and a half drive, so... But here we don't really we haven't really landed a specific artist yet. Uh, Patrick, the guy that did Greg, he's pretty cool, and I'm sure he'll end up doing great things once he's more like in the swing of things and gets you know gets a better rhythm down and so forth. But um, we I've only been to two tattoo artists since I've been here, so honestly, probably more than the average person would have been in the time frame that I've been here. But um, I got my courage here, and I got my Greg here. Technically, I got my Narsil in Danvers, but that was several years ago. Um, and so far, everybody we've gotten tattoos from have been chill. They've been really cool people and, and so forth. Awesome artists. And uh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Oh, we got company. We have a guest. We have a guest on the podcast today. Nah, she left. Jacob. <laughs> oh, good. I don't, I don't know. want him anyway. Deanna was gonna ask me something, but I don't know what it was. But um, anyway. Oh, that she. I'm, I'm fucking with my lights now. It's a significant difference. Oh, that's much better. You like, you like that? Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I might get more um, comic book stuff tattooed. I just don't know what. But I'm happy with my Watchmen one, but there are a lot of bangers in Watchmen. What about uh, what about throat tattoos? For me or for you? For you, I'm getting throat tattoos. Period. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a choker tattooed. <laughs> so people know. Can I get a dog collar tattooed on me? No, you should get spikes. You should get a hand tattooed, like it's choking you around your neck. Yeah. Make it make your mouse as glow. Tat- you get a noose tattoo, and then the back there's just a rope that goes up my, goes <laughs> up into my hairline. That'd be kind of dope, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> my back to school necklace, like low key, that'd be kind of dope. <laughs> 
No, you get, I don't know what I would get, get on the throat, but Mickey Mouse's yeah, glove I, choking you out. Because Disney has a chokehold on everything. <laughs> that fucking mouse, let me tell you. That's facts. That's the end of that thought. <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't know what I would do for like my throat if I could even get anything. I don't I don't think I would ever. But I wanted some on the neck. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to tolerate it. I might try it. Might be something small. You should. Neck tattoos are dope. Yeah, the other problem is I'm I'm not against anyone that just gets tattoos for tattoos. I'm just personally not like a collector of tattoos. I like all of mine to have some kind of significant meaning to me so i can't really just grab whatever out of a hat and put it on although i did i told lou because she she's done a couple tattoos on herself just for practice if at any i told her at any point that you're actually really confident with doing it can you do a little skeleton doing a kickflip <laughs> on the skateboard because i think that'd be dope hell yeah i had really a, ironic i had a neck tattoo idea of little skeletons crawling up the side of my neck like these little black silhouette skeletons like cr like literally crawling up my flesh into my hair you I was should get the the orcs going up the wall at Helm's I forget Deep. the name of the kingdom at Helm's Deep yeah <laughs> and then uh, like it just goes up and so on your like even on your cheekbone on your jawline you just have like Gimli and um, Legolas there kicking them off no I've got Legolas up here on my forehead shooting an arrow at one of them and it's just like an arrow line that goes across my face right here. <laughs> That'd be cool. That's a power move. Get the right Harry, there. get the Harry Potter lightning bolt. No. <laughs> <laughs> Helm's Deep battle, yes. Harry Potter lightning bolt, no. <laughs> get all of Minas Tirith tattooed right here on the forehead. Get uh. Um. Lord Denethor jumping off the fucking side of or off the front of Minas Tirith while he's on fire <laughs> if you could turn any like just your face shape like into parts of your tattoo like make your eyebrows into balconies for people to jump off of and shit like that that'd be cool I fuck with that <laughs> uh, I like the tattoos that move and stuff like people get um I think it was in Scooby Doo there was um Shaggy got a mouth with a chicken wing oh yeah like it was chewing on. It. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> or I know <laughs> Rigby in a regular show, he's got one on his armpit. That's a shark with its mouth open, so it just opens and closes. Hell yeah. I don't know if I'd ever. I don't know if I'd ever do any pit tattoos. I don't know if I could do that. I couldn't. I know that shit would hurt. I'm I mean, worried I know about dirt, but I'm worried about the inner bicep. This this didn't hurt that bad, but right on the inside. I've I've heard from some people it's awful, and I've heard from others that it's not that bad. Ah, oh, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> Numbing cream. But I also did that one myself, and it sucked. <laughs> it fucking hurt. If you uh, do get numbing cream, and no one no one's a pussy for getting numbing cream. I think some people think there's a a stipulation in there. There's not or expectations. Yeah, absolutely. If it will help you sit through the tattoo, the the point of a tattoo is to get the tattoo. So if you can sit through it by any means, do so. Yeah. But what you want to look for is a cream that has a high amount of lidocaine in it. Lidocaine is the thing that numbs it. Or uh, what was it? benzene is what you said was sprayed on you? Bactine. Bactine. Yeah, yeah. bactine and lidocaine. Some some tattoo artists just have it because they know that shit hurts. So I some, think, some I... tattoo artists just have some. It's just like I'm a numbing spray. Right but uh, the only thing that you shouldn't do is take painkillers, any kind of painkillers, and that's no. that, that's for your that's for your blood circulation though. That's not to do with like, like yes, numbing cream, Bactine spray, or whatever. Like that's fine. But if you're t if you're gonna take something that's gonna thin your blood, like that's when it becomes a problem. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> but yeah. uh, don't want you bleeding out on the table or anything. But yeah, I'm a bleeder when it comes to getting my tattoos for some odd reason. The one on my calf, the Watchman one, it didn't like super bleed out, but anything anything I've gotten on my arm is just drenched and soaked in the, even with the new skin or second skin, I think is what it's called. That's the patch they put on for yeah. me anyway. Even that, it'll go right through it. It'll just puddle up. 
drip through. My legs were nasty. also my legs were also not as bad as my arms for some reason. I'm I'm usually not that bad with it anyway, but uh, between the two spots, my legs have definitely had way less plasma and stuff build up afterwards. So I don't know why that is, which is weird because you'd think standing up your blood would be flowing that way, but I don't know. I don't know how the body works. I don't either. Um, what about your belly? My fat, hairy gut. Got any belly ideas? Because I sure, I sure as fuck do. I, I don't. I don't know why. I'm weird about stomachs. I don't like the, the belly, the pudge. I don't like people's navels at all. So avoiding the, the stomach part. I guess I could stand up. I don't know why I'm leaning back. But I don't want my stomach done. But I would still like to have the the ravens on my chest. I'm getting my stomach done. Yeah, for sure. I actually think that Which... might be where I end up having to get my cauldron born, horned king, because it's a cauldron. So if I had the cauldron on my belly, <laughs> you bet your ass, dude. You should have have it just um, like uh, tribal text that just says "hungry boy" <laughs> tattooed on. <laughs> I'm hung. I'm hungry. <laughs> Please feed. I, uh... Dude, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, that might be the only place that I could get my cauldron born tattoo that I'm thinking about it. It's my belly. Just, like, screw your back and get it get it covered up. Get it in the trees. God, no. Speaking Vietnamese. I did have a... Speaking of my trees, uh... I heavily considered getting... M&Ms, just singular M&Ms of various different colors and stuff hidden throughout a lot of my other tattoos. Because my M&Ms are my favorite. I guess that's okay. there's some context there. I love M&Ms. I fuck some M&Ms up like really hard. But I thought about having like an, just a single M&M like hidden in one of my trees, and then having another one hidden in my fucking Grim Reaper somewhere or behind him or sitting behind his fucking sleeve or some shit, just all over, just little hidden M&M's everywhere. I thought that would be sick as fuck. Hear me out, hear me out. Green M&M pinup girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's been done. There's no way that hasn't been done. Yeah, or the Dr. Phil green M&M. Have you, have you seen that one? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm looking it up right now, though. Good. That's something that people need to have on their bodies. I wish I could oh, get some yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen this. <laughs> I wish I could get some meme tattoos, but <laughs> dude, that's perfect. It I almost, wish I could get more it's meme almost, tattoos, but I. It's almost a oh. Steve Harvey one. It it's is, almost a yeah. Steve Harvey M M&M. and M. They're the same person, though. Really, if you think about it. No, no. Steve Harvey. <laughs> Steve Harvey's way better. But yeah, I'd like to get more meme. I guess more. I would like to get a meme tattoo or something like that. But there's, I don't know if I'm. If there's going to be a meme that just transcends time for me, that'll always come back to. So it might be kind of... I mean, <laughs> that dog in me. It transcends time and space. We'll find out in two weeks when the song is irrelevant. Even though I would have gotten this regardless of the meme, honestly, because I just love Courage. But Yeah. And that's probably my favorite depiction of Courage. Look at him. He's so fucking cute. Look at him. It is. He's adorable. I love yeah, it. Yeah, but... Yeah, but Muriel. The mom tattoo, though. Muriel! Things I do for love. Um, um, video game tattoos? You got any of those? I've got... That you're wanting? I was gonna say, I've already got my horde symbol on the back of my calf. And I'm going to get... I don't know if I'm gonna add it to that one, because it's another uh, Warcraft one, but... I'm going to get the uh, Helm of the Lost Catacomb. I'm going to get the Helm of the Lost Catacomb in there somewhere, which is this helmet right here, if I can find a decent picture of it. Ooh, that is kind of sick. Are you going to get the armor with it or just the helmet? Just the helmet. 
it's got a skull in the middle it's hard to see but and then on the top of the horns right here are like black roses and shit just kind of chilling there and the mm. there, there's an animation where there's like little flower petals that fall from it once in a while it's pretty sick but uh it's the helmet that i always have on my main on world of warcraft i've got that helmet transmogged on my main set and i have since it came out in pandaria uh i fucking love it it just looks sick as fuck as a matter of fact the thing that sparked the idea for me to get that specific helmet tattooed even though i've always loved it was the world of warcraft cookbook actually mm. there's a there's a a hand-drawn sketch of it in that fucking cookbook that's like way more detailed and stuff and it looks fucking awesome but it's only like half done like it's like fading out or something like that but just that sketch alone i have it here somewhere it's probably on my bookshelf back there but um it just looks so cool i'm like holy shit that would be sick as a tattoo man and it's just crazy because that's not usually a helmet that gets referenced a lot I just like a lot of weird shit, like, off-the-wall shit. I don't see it used as often as some of the other ones, but my opinion, it's my favorite helmet of the game, so um, that one's definitely going to be in there. Um, I'm probably going to get a... Probably going to get more to my medieval tattoo. Um, probably Dan's hand, like, on the, yeah. the cover of the game. Um, I, I keep trying to find... I don't think I'll ever be able to do my hand because that's one of the more painful spots. But I want to get the um, the cursed symbol from Black Ops Three: Shadows of Evil. Mm. When you because when you load up the game, all the characters have it, and it's purple when it's ready to go, and it's red when it's empty. But uh, the intro is just a guy saying, "You bear the mark. You are cursed," mm. and that's what allows you to go over to the fountains and go beast mode, turn into some eldritch horror. But oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, or, more likely, I don't know where I would get it either, but I want to get the um, the Quick Revive perk bottle with the words Team Medic somewhere on there. Hell because yeah. that's, that's always the role that I play, and that's my favorite perk, is always going to try and revive everybody else. I'm always playing Team Medic. Nah, if I got a perk bottle, it'd be Jug. Easy. Yeah. Even though I think, in my opinion, my favorite perk is probably Stamina Up, but... It's just because I like to go fast. <laughs> Welcome to my world. All the time. But no, I I probably have to get Jug just by default. I want to get Deadshot. Deadshot would be pretty cool, but I think Jug is just too much of a staple to pass up. Yeah, I actually have perk bottles. I don't know if I can think of any other ones that I would want. I mean, I think like in the original or. If I had to rank them, it would probably be Quick Revive, uh, Jug, Speed Cola, then Double Tap. I like I like Speed Cola, and the original Speed Cola also let you rebuild barriers faster. Yeah. Solid, but yeah, I don't. I I like I've seen people get like the ray gun, or they'll get an outline, one of the chalk outlines of a weapon on the wall. That's fucking. But cool. I don't know. There's a specific wall weapon that I would have gone with mp40 mp40 dude get, MP40 the, uh, get the olympia easy, dude you need to get a buddy one of you gets the olympia one of you gets the m14 nah if i got a, if, seen... I, if i got a chalk outline dude it's gonna be mp40 if it's gonna be a wall weapon chalk outline but that's the meme that transcends time is mp40 gang or this uh this post was made by olympia gang nah dude I bet you Toby Toby would probably say the same. He'd probably also say MP40. Yeah. I think Toby... I'm honestly surprised that Toby hasn't gotten a zombies tattoo yet. Yeah, for real. He's We're got, waiting on the perfect zombies game to come out. He's got an Elden Ring tattoo, and he's got a uh, Resident Evil tattoo. And he's got one that he got with his sister. It's like a matching one with like a little skull with a candle on it or something like that. Hmm. Um, but I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a fucking zombies tattoo yet. I would totally, dude, if I had four friends that would be into this shit, the staffs from Origins. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Me, you, Toby, and... Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get Justin, Justin on it. Justin, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's a fourth. 
We get each other's uh, character models tattooed. One of us gets a golden eagle. One of us gets a purple rabbit. Hell yeah. Scarecrow and a, a, a SWAT man and a gas mask. Hell yeah. I'm here for that. With astronaut suits on. Yeah, there we go. We just like, take the thumbnail that you drew <laughs> in, in Photoshop <laughs> and we get that tattooed. Oh, man. Dude. I actually really fucking love the one that my wife did for our Origins uh, stream, whichever one that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, the the Bonnie and the Panzer suit looks it looks so good. I yeah. I almost might, but like, do I want to solidify my internet personality as a tattoo on my body? Probably not. I've already got Scarecrow. That's my Scarecrow signature. Yeah. On my arm. That was like the first tattoo I ever did on myself. But um, I think uh, I was gonna say I think my last idea for a tattoo. I at this point I want to get a Godzilla tattoo. But I, I don't want some crazy, you know, drawing like, like the minus one boy with the cute little nose. Uh, when I got the anime trilogy in the mail, two of them were not sealed, and they come with little art booklets. And there are some original sketches of what Mecha Godzilla was supposed to look like, and that thing's fucking sick. Might just steal that right out of the book. Mecha Godzilla tattoo. That'd be sick. Mecha Godzilla. That'd be pretty sick. I know I've got plenty of Lord of the Rings stuff that I want to do, speaking of movies. I know there's definitely some Lord of the Rings one. I want a Gandalf silhou silhouette of him, like, smoking a pipe with, like, a little uh, sailboat or a little ship or something in the smoke. I want to get that yeah. somewhere. Um, let's see. Gandalf holding a pipe bomb. <laughs> Gandalf smoking a crack pipe. <laughs> yeah, Gandalf with a bong. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, um, oh, uh, Frodo, Samwise, Gollum, in a ring around Sam's little cook pot that he brings, and just says ideal blunt rotation. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fucking <laughs> awesome. Are you kidding? Nah, dude. Sam, Frodo, and Gollum sitting in a big ass like hot tub. But it's just the one ring, like just this massive one ring around oh, them. Oh, I like that. I, I actually like that a lot. That'd be dope. But no, fuck that shit. I'm not getting Frodo tattooed anywhere. I'll get Sam somewhere, but not Frodo. Same premise. It's the one ring as a hot tub, but you've got a character that's sitting in it in the bank of it with his arms out like this, and it's um, Sauron. And he's just got the helmet, but he's a, a white dude that's just shredded without a top on. Hairy ass chest. Yeah. <laughs> Gold chain. But he's still got the helmet. Hell yeah. I could fuck with that. And just, uh. Oh man, I'm trying to think of like words that could be put there, like Isildur's Bane or something like that underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that'd be awesome. Um. Yeah, I know some Lord of the Rings ones. I still got to get the Star Wars one I was talking about. I know I want to get another Harry Potter tattoo, but I don't know what yet. I thought about getting the Dark Mark, but I don't know. I feel like everybody gets that shit. I don't know what I would do except for the the burrow on fire. I've never seen it. I've never even heard that idea before, and I have no clue what I would do instead of that because that's. It's just too perfect. I had an idea for a Harry Potter tattoo. I was talking to somebody the other day that's also obsessed with Harry Potter. Like, she, she's, like, super obsessed with Harry Potter. And uh, I was talking to her about it, and I was... I know I was spitting ball, or spitballing some ideas with her on it, but I can't remember what the hell it was that I would like to get. But, I don't get know. The, the uh, cauldron with bubbling water that the weird fetus Voldemort's getting dropped into... And it just has a recipe either above or below it that says the um, whatever Wormtail's reading off blood of the um, uh, whatever the hell it was and uh, piece of the servant finger of the servant shit that'd like be, that that'd be dope. No, yeah. dude, get fucking Wormtail holding Voldemort's head underwater, like choking him out. He's just like finally <laughs> snapped. He's sick of his shit. And he just like 
It's like strangling him underwater. I'd get that tattooed. Or giving him a swirly or something. Dude! Fucking, uh, James Potter giving Snape as a teenager a swirly. <laughs> yeah. In the toilet or something. <laughs> Get the entire Marauders map tattooed on your back. I would if I my Might back wasn't something. covered. But get it so like your the folds of the map or um, wherever you get footsteps, they're in like your your shoulder blades, so that when you pinch them together, there's feet walking around. I can't. God damn, you have a lot more work than I thought done on your back. Ugh. Look at all that. This is really good for the visual uh, enjoyers. Can you see that looks pretty much done, except for uh, you got the top. At the top here. That's the least painful part. You're good to go, man. Oh, trust me, I know because I fucking I made him finish the bottom of it the last time I went. I was like, Cody, you need to finish that bottom. I'm not leaving here until it's done. I don't want to touch that part of my body ever again. <laughs> yeah, my shoulders, literally on here where I've got my. Uh, what do I have on here? I have the Bill Cipher. It says, do not summon at all costs. And then I got the Firefly on the other side. The shoulders were, like, shoulder blades were one of the least painful. Yeah. It's a good spot. I not too bad. Lower back's way worse for sure. That shit hurts, dude. Cut right into your spleen. <laughs> Get your kidneys. That shit hurts, dude. Well, do you have any final thoughts on tattoos or advice to give people any other ideas on tattoos get what you want fuck anybody that says otherwise unless it's like hate yes. speech or some shit like that don't do that but uh yeah um don't be an asshole to your tattoo artist they're working long hours dude carpal tunnel Yo. yeah you just gotta understand the process man it is what it is do your research that's another big one do your research before you get a tattoo. Research your artist. Make sure you're getting an artist that you enjoy the work of. That should be a given, but some people, trust me, don't think about that. Um, I don't think I know a single tattoo artist that doesn't have a fucking Instagram nowadays, so go look at their yeah. work. Check out their stuff. See what you like. Um, and if you have any cancellations or anything like that, the sooner you can let them know, the better. Trust me, they hate it when somebody cancels last minute because that is their livelihood. They've got to fill that spot. So, yes, there's probably plenty of other people that can fill that spot, but who's to know if that person has something that's the same size as what you were going to get that day that they had already scheduled time for? They have to be able to yeah. figure that stuff out. So please, please, please let your, your artist know as soon as you can if you have to cancel for whatever reason. Um, be upfront, be open to changes, be upfront with your artist about what you want, be firm with what you want, because I know also some artists will take some creative liberties whether they want you to or not. It yeah, happens. Yeah, you gotta, you do have to stand up for yourself sometimes on your tattoos. If you have a specific vision, and they'll, my tattoo artists at least, they will draw it up and they will take a stencil, they would put it on the spot that you want so you can see exactly where it's going to go and the size it's going to be. Yep. If there's something you don't like about it, like don't be an asshole, but but let them know cuz that's permanent. Yeah. Even if you get it like laser removed or whatever, you're still going to have the outline, it's going to look like shit. Laser but removal that's... is more expensive than the tattoo. Yeah, and that's that's a permanent piece of art on your body. So if it's if you're really not 100% confident with it, like be upfront and nice about it. Most tattoo artists will will be accommodating. Yeah, because they also don't want that heat either. <laughs> they don't mm -hmm. want to get through the tattoo and you just be like, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't like it. <laughs> that's not. Don't the act like you want. know better though. Like like yeah. every time I tell my tattoo artist I want it smaller, can we go smaller? If they say no, I'm usually like, okay because they've been doing it for so long they know what's gonna happen with it yeah yeah but at the end of the day dude make sure you are sober make sure you do your research don't use any painkillers even if it's ibuprofen or anything trust me just don't um and uh yeah let's see some fucking sick ass tattoos let us know in the comments what's your favorite tattoo ever you've ever gotten 
Let us yeah, know in great detail where it's at, too. I need <laughs> a an Ed and Eddie tattoo at some point, and I've got no ideas for it whatsoever. So if anyone it. wants to commission, for the love of God, I, I would. I would totally do that if someone was down for it. Let me know. I want to get Plank really bad. Yeah. Plank would be dope. <laughs> Just get Groot, except with Plank's eyes. Just <laughs> Plank underneath. <laughs> There's a bunch of cartoon characters I want to get, dude. Yeah. If Hovey, that's why I want to get all sleeve. If Hovey remembers, uh, we're supposed to get SpongeBob and Patrick. I'm getting Patrick on my ass cheek, and he's getting SpongeBob on his ass cheek. <laughs> and uh, all right. it's gonna be when they're sitting there with their mouths like gaped open, like that one. Yeah. Except on our ass cheeks. Just a little one, like this big. <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> That's hot. Good luck sitting. I'll be alright. I can stand for a couple days. I'll be alright. <laughs> <laughs> alright. Anyway. We're gonna wrap this up here. Peace Thank out, guys. For joining us. This has been another episode of On Thin Ice. You can check us out on Instagram. Uh, go back and watch previous episodes. They're all really good. I, I hope. They are. I don't I had fun doing them. Hopefully you'll have fun watching them. We've got shorts up on the channel and on Instagram. Watch movies. Do that. Yeah, especially the Pizzaverse on Cosmic Pizza YouTube channel. Definitely watch that one. Banger. And uh, Bye, everybody. Yeah. See you later. Peace.